Welcome to Canadian Justice. I'm Christine Van Gein. Today we're discussing artificial intelligence, art, and music. In mid-April, a new song went viral on streaming services. The song was called Heart on My Sleeve, and it was released by someone called Ghostwriter977. The track claimed to use AI-generated versions of the voices of Drake and The Weeknd, two of the world's most popular musicians. The song was taken down from streaming platforms using traditional copyright laws because it included an unauthorized sample from another song. But what if it hadn't? And what does this whole story mean about the future of AI and music, or for that matter, AI and art? where AI-generated images can be made in the style of living human artists. Here today to discuss this are two experts, intellectual property lawyer Melissa DeMilta of Bennett Jones and copyright lawyer Peter Hennen of Hennen Hutchinson. Thank you both so much for joining me today. Melissa, let's start with you. I have to admit, I really liked this song. My family likes this song. We still are listening to it. There's still actually some versions available on YouTube without that sample. What more do you want us to know about this Drake Weekend saga? And maybe can you tell us how the AI technology is trained to create this uh, spoof of their voice? Uh, well, I agree with you, Christine. I really like the song as well. Um, I think the difference with this particular AI song, because this is not the first AI song that was ever created. This isn't even the first Drake AI song that was created. You can find others online. I, before Heart on My Sleeve was released, the music industry was alive to the issue. Universal Music Group in early April sent an email to Spotify and Apple Music requesting that they block AI companies from accessing their clients' songs. But then Heart of My Sleeve was released, and it racked up a lot of views. There were, um, I believe, 275,000 views on YouTube, uh, 600,000 streams on Spotify, millions of views on TikTok, and it's estimated it earned approximately $10,000 US globally across all platforms. And the song in a very good. short period, in a very in short a period very of short period of time, a couple of weeks before they started immediately trying to get it cut, uh, shut down. I think less than. So the Drake's voice is convincing. The lyrics are very in line with the Drake song, and it very became emotional. A very, very <laughs> emotional. Uh, Ghostwriter nine seven seven claimed in the comments of the Heart on My Sleeve video that they wrote and produced the song and just replaced the vocals with Drake and the Weekends um, using AI technology. So if the claims are true, the song does include some original elements. For the training of AI, at a high level, a large amount of digital readable content, such as information that would routinely appear on the internet, is provided to an AI software or algorithm for it to mine and learn and improve. The AI algorithm discovers patterns and then modifies its, itself as it ex is exposed to more data. But critical to the technology is the data that is input. And the more data available, the better the AI can become. And the question that often is, well, the question at the heart of this issue is whether the data that was mined was copyrighted materials to begin with. So that was why the label asked these streaming platforms to block AI from accessing the information, because that's how the AI gets trained, by listening to all of this music by learning how to imitate the voice uh, of, of famous artists. Uh, now, Peter, we've got about a minute left. It, what do you want to add to the story of this Heart on My Sleeve saga? And, and first of all, were you a fan of the song too? Uh, look, I don't want to disclose my musical tastes. I, I, I'm feeling very put on the spot here. Uh, <laughs> no, let me just say that um, I think that <laughs> this is really the first chapter in what now is going to be the next kind of phase in intellectual property legal disputes. Um, you know, I, the, the fact that the, uh, the person who posted the uh, video is, 
you know, it would appear to be an individual. I, I think if I if I saw this correctly, they were covering themselves with a sheet and they had sunglasses on. So there's this anonymous component. And so uh, litigating this and uh, and trying to regulate this kind of issue going forward is really going to be the next phase. So the song may not be the first uh, the first uh, AI recording. Uh, but it is definitely the beginning of the, this this next era. It's a, it's going to be an interesting time. We've got to go to break, but I have a lot more questions when we come back.